Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a lot of jailbreak news for you guys in regards to jailbreak updates as well as jailbreak releases. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. All right, guys, so first off, let's go ahead and smash up to 15 likes on this video of my return as well as jailbreak releases have been going on in the past two weeks. Now, the reason why I haven't been posting in the past two weeks was because of YouTube. And if you guys are following me on Twitter, I had tweeted saying that YouTube currently had postponed my uploading because of the fact that I had two community guideline strikes on my account. And both of those are regards to Hackintoshes. So with that being said, in the future, guys, I will not be making any more Hackintosh videos as of now now because of the fact that I'm getting community guideline strikes and I will not be able to upload anymore and if I get one more then my channel will be terminated so with that being said guys happy new years to a 2018 year of jailbreaking now with that being said a lot of developers inside of the jailbreak community has came together and has been making a whole bunch of exploits as well as toolkits used for jailbreaking iOS devices so the first thing I do want to talk about are developers themselves so for the first thing I do want to talk about about is cheesecake ufo like i said in my last couple of videos he released a houdini application which allowed you to customize your device without having the need to be jailbroken now if you guys do want to check it out go ahead and click on the first link that is inside of the description he updated it to now have compatibility with ios 11 all the way to 11.1.2 so if you guys are on ios 10 all the way to 11.1.2 you guys are able to use the houdini application in order for you guys to customize your guys' device without having the need to be jailbroken. But the next thing I do want to talk about with Cheesecake UFO is the fact that he has now concluded all jailbreak related projects are now open source and he won't be making any more public projects to be released. But the idea of him making a whole bunch of content is absolutely insane. And thank you so much, Cheesecake UFO. If you happen to stumble upon this video, I do appreciate your work towards the community. Now, the next thing I do want to talk about are all jailbreak related and everything that's been going on in the past two weeks. So the first thing I do want to talk about is the fact that Timstar released this jailbreak called Helix and is a jailbreak for all 32-bit devices running iOS 10 all the way to 10.2. So if you guys want to check it out, it'll go ahead and be inside of the description you guys can go ahead and click on the get helix button right here you guys will get an ipa and then go ahead and silo it via cydia impactor and you guys will be good to go with a jailbreak if you guys are on a 32-bit device if you guys want to go ahead and check it out he does have some revisions in regards to the jailbreak as well and the next thing i do want to talk about is the saigon jailbreak as well also made by cheesecake ufo now in my past videos i have said that this jailbreak was released for iOS 10.2.1. Now he has updated it to beta 3 which allows a better success rate in jailbreaking your guys' device. So if you guys want to check it out and you guys are on 10.2.1 and want to get a better success rate in terms of jailbreaking your guys' iDevice again, go ahead and check out the new IPA that was released. Now the next thing I do want to talk about is the next jailbreak for all 64-bit devices running iOS 10 all the way to 10.3.3 in terms of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus as well so with that being said that this jailbreak is basically completed for all 64-bit devices but hold that thought with this jailbreak now like I said this jailbreak is supported for iOS 10 all the way to 10.3.3 but the next thing I do want to talk about in regards to a jailbreak is the iOS 11 jailbreak now the library iOS jailbreak was created by Morpheus and it is available for all iOS 11 devices all the way up to 11.1.2 so if you guys are on 11.2 or above you guys are out of luck for this jailbreak but it is in fact awesome to see that we do have an iOS 11 jailbreak that is completely working for the fact that you guys are able to add some type of compatibility and root access onto your guys' iDevice. Now I do want to say this guys that inside of my tweets that I have been tweeting out is basically do not install this jailbreak just yet in regards to iOS 11 as well as this new jailbreak called Meridian. Now if you guys are on said iOS devices with iOS versions do not jailbreak your guys' iDevice just yet wait for my jailbreak update videos for you guys to know when exactly to do it and the reason for that is because of Cydia substrate is not in fact upgraded yet by Sork the developer of Cydia he has not yet released a stable portion of the jailbreak team in order for tweaks and other said necessities for your guys's iDevice
device to work in regards with a jailbreak. But these jailbreak does allow root access to your guys' iDevice, and all we need is for Soric to update Cydia Substrate in order for you guys to add tweaks and other things on your guys' iDevice. Now, in terms of Soric, he did make this comment inside of the subreddit a couple days ago saying, I never made millions and I currently lose a lot of money each month on Cydia. Now I have a day job where I spend a bunch of my earnings to pay for it, which I then have to balance with Cydia work. I am working on the iOS 11 updates even so, because despite people like you always trying to dispel people from thanking me for my efforts, I have managed to maintain my passion for the concept of jailbreaking as I truly believe in the concept. Now, basically what he is saying is that with Cydia, he has not made a lot of money in regards to keeping up with the whole entire application and paying for the server as well as the work itself has come out of his pocket in regards to the whole entire community. So Soric does not owe us a Cydia substrate, but he is in fact working on it. Let's take the time to just thank Soric for all his hard work and everything that he has done in regards to the jailbreak community. So let's go ahead and be patient guys in order for this to end up being released by him very soon. And like I said, guys, if you guys are on the iOS 10, Point three point three, as well as the iOS 11 jailbreak compatible iOS versions. Do not jailbreak or install these IPAs on your guys' iDevice just yet. Wait for my videos to be uploaded very soon as I will be covering a ton of more videos in regards to these two iOS jailbreaks in the future since I am back on the YouTube grind. So with that being said, guys, I wanted to just clarify and just let you guys know where everything is at inside of the jailbreak community in the past two weeks since a lot of toolkit and exploits has been released in regards to jailbreaks so with that being said guys if you guys like this video go ahead and leave a like on this video let's go ahead and smash up to 15 likes on this video don't forget to also subscribe to this channel if you guys want a lot more jailbreak update videos in regards to iOS 10 and iOS 11 which will happen very soon and don't forget to snapshot or scan my snap code in regards to snapchat and don't forget to also follow me on my twitter page and my facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world so with that being said guys i'll see you guys in my next video this is elite apple hacks signing out